I know historically the commercial crowd will turn their nose up to virgins, but years ago, around 2015 or so, I figured out a way that virgins were accepted really well, and it was a roundabout way. <clears throat> I would hold them in their nuke. I was holding them for insemination. So they, you know, I want them to, they were already introduced. They already knew her. They've been feeding her. Then I inseminate her and I'd put her back in there and they'd kill her. Well, every time I noticed, I went back in there doing a uh, crime scene investigation and they all had queen cells. So I was like, okay, well, we can play this game if you want. I'll just wait till you don't have the colony doesn't have anything they can make a queen out of. So that's like seven to nine days after you split it. Cause I'm inseminating them on day nine or 10. I would cut all those cells out and they're kind of hopelessly queenless. They still have open old brood and they still have cat brood. So they're tight and cohesive, but they would take those queens so much better. And then I figured out it worked for virgins too. And it actually works for cells and mated queens too. If you want to eliminate the competition, pull it above an excluder or split it and move it to another yard, feed it if you want to reduce stress, wait seven to nine days, cut those cells and go around and stick candy cage virgins in there. <clears throat> and it's not uncommon to have a hundred percent take, but I wouldn't expect that to be keeping you sure, know, more but realistic, so that, 70 so or 80%. That's an interesting approach. So ideally, cause what I traditionally do is do the splits on a, saturday or friday or saturday and then the next day drop cells in there but what your recommendation would be is do the splits one weekend and then come in the next weekend kill all the cells and uh drop the the uh, cells in yeah. cells yeah. or virgins or mated queens in the colony yeah. a week later definitely and wow. you'll have a better tech actually because i've even done a side by side now it was a small study you know less than 20 colonies in each group but i held virgins for a week i went ahead and put them in there i just split them and stuck them in there but i capped the candy I waited seven days and I came in with a whole new batch of splits and put, you know, the, within, within 24 hours, they had cells in them. And then I cut all these and released, cut all the cells in the virgin batch and pulled all the candy caps. I came back, every single one of the virgins made it. And the queens, I even cheated. I opened them up to make sure the cells were viable. And they were wigglers. They were good queens. I came back and they'd killed every single one of those cells I put in there and they made emergency cells. On the ones that you did, you put in quickly after the split. Yeah. Okay. No, I mean, that's standard practice for most commercial yeah. guys. And yeah, I yeah. Think they accept that some of them are going to be emergency queens. It's just a numbers game. But uh, And that's a small sample size, so that may not happen every time. But I was pretty disappointed at how many of those queens Cause I want those genetics. I'm a breeder. I don't just want a queen in there. I want traceable genetics in there. So that threw me for a major loop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was, well that's, that's something I'm going to consider because last year we did some early splits. We got some sales and I've started, I've started doing a lot of splits with sales and yeah. um, cause it's just, it's just Economic. affordable, really affordable. Really, and yeah. so I, I, um, what I, what I did was on one day we, I made the splits. We split everything. You know, I didn't even look for a queen, just put all the hives that were strong enough, all the colonies that were strong enough, dropped a queen cell in every single one. I knew the ones that had queens in them already would work it out like they may kill her or the new, whatever happened. And then and the new ones, the thought was they would accept the new queen. But it took some of those colonies. <clears throat> normally, you go back in two to three weeks, you got eggs. It took some of those colonies like a month before they had it straightened out. What happened is they probably just killed that virgin and then made their own queen with emergency cells. Is that what you what your theory is? Absolutely. And that's the thing is a lot of my buddies are commercial, so they're going to hammer me and go, that's ridiculous. That's a whole nother step with introducing these queens. You're adding exponential labor costs. And then I figured that out. I'm like, yeah, but do you want those queens or do you want emergency queens? I guess you the question is, that. is it really an extra step though? If you have to go back the next day and I mean, just wait a week and do it. I mean, honestly, so well, I've got some, we have some sales coming. Um, first week in march i may i don't know i may try that i may try and break out some splits the previous week and just give it a shot it, it can't hurt I and mean, you why can not? just shake all your brood out like if you've got double deeps you can shake all those brood frames off and just put an excluder in there and then let the bees come back through it and then that whole top box you know is queenless so you could do that a week prior come back and whenever you're making your splits out of those frames knock all the cells down 
move them or do whatever you're going to do and then go through with virgins or cells. You're talking about the box that's on top. You can yeah, do that. Above so it. can you put the virgins in right then as soon as you pull it off? You can, but you better tape over the candy or put a cap on them because they'll take excellent care of them. But if they've got something they can make cells out of, they'll, as soon as she's out, they want to kill her. But as long as you keep her in there, they'll take care of her most all the time. Well, here's another thing about that, Bruce. I called that the Stevens method of introduction, but there's something I found out about it, and this was in retrospect. If you look at colonies that are about to swarm, so this is in nature when you got virgins that are introducing into new into colonies, brand new. What happens before they're about to swarm? What does the old queen do? She or shuts not? down land. She shuts down land, right? She shuts down land. So a lot of time in nature, whenever those virgins come out, they've got open old brood and they got cat brood. They don't have anything to make a queen out of. So it actually, I was mirroring nature and I didn't even know it. I was just doing it mechanically and thought I'd won the game. And I actually ended up matching nature in okay. that. Because a lot of times when those virgins are coming out, that queen quit laying a while back so she could skinny up and fly. And then whenever okay. those things are coming out, it's exactly the scenario I was creating. So it, so, it these, so that's truly sense. hopelessly queenless is when you have no opportunity for them to make a queen. Right. Now, and some there's... people think hopelessly queenless, because I kept saying this to Sue Kobe, and she would shake her head no. And I said something to – I told it to Bob, too. That's how I knew it was totally new, because he's an old school wisdom. He's done it all, and I told him that. And he was shaking his head no. Like, this is some foreign concept. It's non-traditional, and if there's one thing I think that I like about maybe how I want to be, but I know Cayman is this way, you're this way, you know, even some of the guys that, you know, like Bob and Ian, some of these big-time beekeepers, they've had to be this way some in the past. Maybe they're in their groove now, but you got to test the limits a little bit. you got to try some new things, and, and how is beekeeping ever going to change or get better if people aren't testing the limits? And sometimes you're going to fail. Oh, yeah. sometimes you're, <laughs> yeah. but sometimes you're going to come across a method that that works really well for you and i've always tried to pride myself in the willingness to do that sometimes it's really bit me in the tail and um you know I, I get nervous about things but but i'm willing to be the guinea pig so to speak a little bit here and there and so I, it doesn't bother me too much to do that it would bother me more if it was my main you know, hustle. If it was my main job, I would be probably a little more cautious, but since it is a side hustle, I'm more willing to go out there and risk some things at times. And, and it's paid off more often than not, it's paid off in a positive manner for me. So, um, but yeah, that introduction method, I, I'm, you know, I would encourage folks who heard that, who, you know, if, if you want to try it, it's worth giving a shot. It sounds completely different and opposite of maybe what you've heard in the past, but, but uh, if you don't want to try it, don't try it. You know, don't, don't not Corey for it, but if you want to try it, maybe it'll help. Maybe it'll be a successful thing. And I may give it a shot here with some of these, these new Queens coming in.